Ahead of the crucial Lok Sabha elections, the President of the Republican Party of India, Dr. Ramdas Atawale, visited Nagaland for two days. The Union Minister of State for Social Justice and Empowerment held a press conference at the D Oriental Grand Kohima on Tuesday and spoke about NDA's success in the country and abroad under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He also spoke about his party's alliance with Nipu Rio, led NDPP in the state, and informed about his intention to meet the Chief Minister during his visit. So that today I discuss with my social welfare, social justice and empowerment officers here. And I get the information that the population of Nagaland is near about 19 lakh. 16 districts are also there. And uh, in Nagaland, four old age homes are there. Uh, four old age homes are there, run by NGOs. And two old homes are pending now. And I have given the assurance to officer, officers. Definitely, my ministry will take the decision. And another two more old days, old days homes should be given to Nagaland. The transgender population is near about 423 here. And already our government has taken the decision to support transgender people because that is the humanity ground. We want to support them, we want to give the confidence to them. And our ministry is also working for, for transgender community also. My ministry is also working for Divyangjan peoples, disabled peoples. And Honorable Narendra Modi ji has thought that this community is not a disabled. They are physically disabled, but uh, they are not disabled. Therefore, Narendra Modi has given the name Divyangjan. In this election, the NDA will go above 40, 100, and BJP will go up to 370. An honorable Rio, who is the chief minister of Nagaland, he is also my good friend. He is also a very hard worker. He is also good and best chief minister. Uh, four times he is uh, the chief minister of Nagaland and he is also working for tribal community, for all community and he is also a very popular chief minister in Nagaland and therefore definitely these two seats in Nagaland, definitely our India will win and uh, third time Narendra Modi will be become the prime minister of India. And therefore, my party, Republican Party of India, is also supporting Honorable Narendra Modi ji. Uh, and uh, Honorable Narendra Modi is the leadership, National Democratic Alliance. The India Alliance is also opposing Narendra Modi ji. But there is no power in India front now, in opposition front now, because Nitish Kumar is out from India front. Jain Choudhury out from India front. Mamsa Banerjee has announced that she should be contest the election alone in uh, West Bengal. And therefore, there is no good unity. And uh, Honorable Rahul Gandhi ji, he is the leader of Congress party. He started the uh, Yatra. Uh, Bharat Jodo Nyayatra, but uh, that Yatra should not be benefited to the Congress Party. And therefore, I feel that Congress Party will not win near about 40 seats also, but will win 400 seats, above 400 seats in. Lok Sabha election, coming Lok Sabha election, and my party will support the Bharati Janta Party, BJP, and uh, some seats. We are demanding one seat in Assam. One Dubri seat is also, uh, major minorities, communities also there. 
Therefore, my, my party will demand one seat to Dubri seats in Assam. In Maharashtra, we are demanding two seats. In Uttar Pradesh, we are demanding two seats to BJP, where uh, the BJP seat is not uh, elected. And therefore, some seats we are demanding. And my party will be stand for the Narendra Modi's leadership. My party will support strongly the BJP uh, uh, under the BJP uh, the National Democratic Alliance and uh, definitely uh, Narendra Modi will become the third time Prime Minister of India. And my two MLAs are supporting Honorable Rose Government. Your uh, Rose Party, uh, NDPP, our uh, Rose Party is NDPP, then BJP, and RPI, and NCP, and LGP. All parties are supporting uh, Honorable Rose Government. And my, my party's true MLAs are also supporting Rio's government and uh, Rio's government is also working very hard. Now assembly is also going on and today in the night I want to meet Honorable Chief Minister and I will discuss some problems with him and uh, therefore today I am here and uh, will take the chance to meet Honorable Chief Minister today.